So when you're on the road and your motorcycle engine of your CRF 250L or probably any motorcycle suddenly sounds like that <laughs> you <try. laughs> suddenly sounds like that then most likely the spring of your camp chain engine is broken so we have to repair it we have a little bit more space to reach the camp chain tensioner in here. First of all, we remove that little screw in the middle. It's a little screw, remove it. Then there's a little o-ring in there. It usually stays in, the, in or on the camp chain tensioner. Make sure you don't lose it. And now the first thing you usually have to do, especially when your camp chain tensioner is still working correctly, you have to take the tension of the camp chain slider inside the engine and you do that by using a small screwdriver. Put it in that little hole in the middle and move it clockwise and usually you will feel a resistance while doing that, moving it all the way clockwise. And this is the spring inside. Um, you have to do that if you want to remove the camp chain tensioner when it is still working. Because this one is broken, when I try to turn it clockwise nothing happens at all. That's a sign that the camp chain spring is broken. So I cannot take tension of the... Well, I, I don't have to take tension of the camp chain tensioner slider inside because it's already no tension anymore there anyway. So we can remove the the two other bolts holding the camp chain tensioner inside. Remove the seal if you need it again or for the other one if you have one for exchange. And that's a little o-ring. Make sure you use that too and don't lose it. Actually, the camp chain tensioner is the guide rail inside the engine and the part we are referring to here is called the camp chain lifter. So what happens is that the bowl of the camp chain lifter pushes against the camp chain tensioner which in turn presses against the camp chain. This provides the necessary tension to the camp chain. So this is a camp chain tensioner. As you can see, there, it's not moving anymore. It's definitely not putting any tension anymore on the camp chain slider inside the engine. Also when you use a little screwdriver, usually you take off the tension by uh, turning it clockwise, but nothing is happening anymore. You cannot even turn it clockwise anymore. So that's a sign that uh, probably the spring inside the camp chain tensioner has snapped. Probably. And if you clean your lens, then I get I think the video is going to be much better. Better? Still dirty, but... So the first thing we are going to do, we remove that, that little circlip here. So, I'll just slide in there. Why? It's easier. We take out all, out all these parts. And when you turn it here, This part, a little plastic washer, metal washer, we go here. This is the spring. Grab the spring and just take it out completely. Oops. Throw it in the dirt, that makes everything even better. And as we can see, this is where it's broken. And the other part in here. So what we're going to do, we bend it slightly like it is here and reinstall everything. Don't bend it too hard otherwise the spring will break one more time. So what I do I bend it twice to bring 
the end a little bit closer to that bolt. Like that. Einmal mal so rum. And we bend the other side where the spring comes out again as well a little bit. Good. And now we can remount everything. So to get the spring correctly inside, we put the end in here and the bolt, we center it and leave the rest of the spring hanging outside of the spring cam chain tensioner. Then we use the little washer, put it on top. And then we need a nut in the correct size. Der ist zu groß. Fuck me so <lacht> Use the screwdriver again and we turn it clockwise to get the spring into the cam chain tensioner one more time. Or again. the little hook on the spring is back in position. Then we remove gently the nut and a little washer to check if the spring is situated, sitting correctly. And now it is correct. That's how it should look like. So properly When the spring sits correctly, we're putting on the nut one more time and we preload it two and a half to three turns by turning the screwdriver and holding on the other side, turning the screwdriver two and a half to three times. One, two, and a half. Washer on top. Circle on top of it. That is. So we can test it one more time. This little screwdriver, turn it clockwise, and then the tensioner should move inwards all the way. That's how it should look like. And if you release it, it comes out again. So we use a little lock tool, lock plastic tool. Keep in that position.
and now it's ready to be mounted. After the two screws are installed again and the cam chain tensioner is mounted, you can remove the little locking plastic tool and one could hear it already that it snapped in but just to be sure, take a little screwdriver, put it in there and move it clockwise and now as the cam chain tensioner is repaired you should feel that there is a resistance when moving it clockwise. Snaps back automatically now. That means the spring is working again and we can completely install the rest of the parts we have removed before. So we put the little o-ring in here again. If you really want to have fun, let it drop in here. Then it's a lot of fun to get it out there. I'm really good at again. it. Put a little bolt on top. You don't have to tighten it like crazy, just a little bit. And we remount the clutch cable. And after that, hopefully your engine Starts no starts sounding normally again. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> <laughs>